Hola, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to edit the copyright section of your Shopify store. I'm going to show you how to add additional text and also how to add clickable links as well. My name is Betsy and I am from Betsy Lugo Creative here showing you all of my tips, tricks, and resources so that you can create a Shopify store that you're proud of. Let's jump into the dashboard. Okay, so we're at the bottom of the footer of my current um, demo website. And so what I'm going to show you, as you can see, I have already added some information here to my copyright section, which is I added the all rights reserved, which I'm going to show you how to do. And then I also added a clickable link here, which when someone clicks on it, it'll take them to my website. And so how you can see that is if you kind of take a look right over here, as I hover over the link, you'll see that it's going to take them to my website betsylugo.com okay and so this is really great for seo so google loves to see um, links in your website so that's what we're going to create what we're going to do today is bring the privacy policy and the terms and condition down to this copyright section for two reasons the reason i like to do that for my designs is that one every website needs a private policy okay so you need that when you index your your site with google it's going to look for a privacy policy okay so you need one on your the footer of your website so we're going to just bring it down to the bottom nobody really ever reads it and if they want to read it it's there they can click it and they can go and read it okay the second reason that we do this well i do this is because i like to reduce the margins here and also i want this section of your footer to just be what customers want to read or want to see or are looking for okay and so most of the time they're not looking for these so now let's check out the theme editor and see what we can change from there before we move into the code editor okay so here in the shopify um theme editor you'll see that in the footer the only thing that we can change from here is these blocks here that it allows so it's adding a menu the text and the image right so you do not have access to the copyright from here okay and if you click on it you click anything here there's nothing that you can change if you will look over here we have the options of changing the color right and then the spacing and the padding and the padding that is changing that you can change from here is this padding from this line to the information and then from the copyright to the bottom of the screen okay in another video i'm going to show you how to change the padding from here so now i'm using the dawn theme so with the dawn theme and the other free themes it's the same you can't change the copyright from here however if you're using a premium theme or you're using a third party theme a lot of them you're able to change the copyright information here within the theme editor okay but we're not we can't do it from here so now let's jump into the edit code now before you change anything on your back end if your website is live is to duplicate your theme work on the duplicate and if you like the way it looks then you can copy and paste it to the live site or you can just publish the duplicate okay so you can do either one of those but i want you to uh, work on the duplicate always because you never know all right so let's go into the edit code all right so what we're looking for in the code editor is you're going to look for sections and then we're going to go down to the footer liquid uh, which is right here and then depending on how much work you've done on your website, the customizations that have been done, it should be in the Dawn theme, it should be line 333-ish. Wait, went too far. There we go. Right here. Perfect. So what you're looking for here is where it says footer copyright caption. Okay. So as you can see, this line here is what you already see on the website. So let's go back to the footer, which is the name of the store, the all rights reserved, and then the site credit. So what we're looking for here is the copyright information, which is the date, the name of your store, which automatically gets pulled by Shopify. So you don't need to add that. And then the all rights reserved, and then my site credit here. Okay, so if you want, all that you want to do is just maybe add additional information to your footer. So you can say all rights reserved, and you can say, um, I don't know, text whatever you want you can just write whatever you want right there right so let's go back here and then just refresh and there we go text whatever <laughs> i can't think off the top of my head sometimes but right so you can write whatever you want to write in that section there 
So let's go ahead and just remove that. Just want to show you that if all you want to do is update this information, um, that's you can just write it or delete whatever information is already there that you don't want. Okay. In addition to my site credit, I want to add, as we said, the private policy and the terms and conditions. Okay. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to enter this code here, which I will add in the description below. And then all you have to do is replace what I have already written in caps. Okay. So right here it says replace with the URL. So where is it that you want to send your customers to? In our situation, we want to send them to the private policy. So we're going to go to the private policy page, grab that URL link. So we're just going to copy and then we're going to replace it. We're going to highlight this area here and then replace it with the URL link. So there we go. Okay. This next section here where it says target blank, what that will do is that when the person clicks on those links, it will open a new tab with that new page, right? With e-commerce, you don't want to take them to another page, right? We want to keep them exactly where they are so that they don't lose what it is that they want to buy, right? They don't get lost. It just opens a separate page. They can close it and come back to exactly where they were on your store. Okay. So that's what that will do. And then here where it says link text, Okay. So what we're going to do here is that you're going to type in whatever it is that that link is going to take them to. So in this situation, we're going to take them to the private policy. Did I spell it wrong? Of course I did. There we go. All right. So now you're going to click on save and then we're going to come over. We're going to go to the main page and then let's come to the bottom, which that should automatically refresh but we can click refresh. Okay. There it is. So here it is the private policy. And when you have over it, right, it shows that it's clickable. So now you click it and it takes you to the private policy page while we're here on the privacy policy page. Um, so this privacy policy here is the template by Shopify. So Shopify does give you templates for you to use. Just make sure that you come in here and you update all of this information. If you need it, um, just update it. If you don't need it, you can delete these sections here. Okay. Make sure that you have a privacy policy. As I said before, if you operate in the U S you must have a privacy policy in your website. I will link in the description below the templates that I use myself. Um, it is an affiliate link. So just so that, you know, I was highly recommended. Those are the templates that I use. I love them. They're all vetted by lawyers. And what's best is that once, whenever she updates those templates, she sends you an email saying that those templates are updated, which is super helpful. And so that you know that you're always up to date. Okay. So I highly recommend this. So go ahead and check that out. So let's go ahead and work on that a little bit more. So now what we're going to do is add some space between these two, right? So let's add, you see how I have this line here. Let's go ahead and add that and create some space. So let's go back to the code editor and what you'll do here is that you're going to come over to the end. You're going to, to the end there and you're going to um, create a space, enter space, and then add that line and then create another space and then click save and let's go back. Let's refresh and let's take a look at that. And there we go. So now you have that there. Okay. And then the same thing, we're just going to paste. there and let's go ahead and just move this over and we're going to do the same thing come back over here let's get that url for the terms and conditions and of course and you can do this for any page that you want to guide your customers to all right same process we're going to go ahead and highlight the caps text and then paste the url in there and then here replace the text link with what you wanted to say which we're going to do terms and conditions terms and conditions or terms, terms of use, whichever phrase you want to use and you go ahead and save it there. And let's go ahead and refresh and let's go to the bottom of here. And there we go here. Oh, let's go ahead and again, right? This is super easy. We forgot to add the space. No problem. Let's go back. Let's go to the end of the greater than sign. Um, enter, enter the space, press enter again, save. Okay. Let's refresh this page here. 
Now we have the links here and now we can go to the menu and remove the privacy policy and terms and conditions from this menu here. Let's go ahead and do that so I can show you just in case you don't know how to do that. So we're going to go to the navigation is where you add information to your footer. So now the privacy policy is here. So let's go ahead and delete that. The terms and conditions is here. Let's go ahead and delete that. Let's save that. All right, let's go to the main page. Let's refresh. All right, there we go. So now this is just nice and neat. It is just the links that customers will normally click on there for them. It doesn't distract them with additional information. Okay. And so now we'll have, if you, they click on here, it'll just take them to the main menu, the home page. We click on private policy, terms of conditions. It'll take them to the corresponding pages. Okay. Now let's go ahead and say you already have information on there. Let's go back to the edit code. Okay. So it's already in the footer here. So the footer is already selected. So let's go back to the bottom of that section there where we made all that work, which was 333, right? All right. Let's go back to 333. All right. Here it is all that information. Okay. And if you want to delete anything, like if you, like I said here, I have the all rights reserved. So you can just type it in there. You don't have to make, um, you don't have to add anything else other just click right in here and start typing just like we did before. Um, the only thing I just want to make sure that whenever you're copying and pasting the code, just make sure that you're clicking within that line already there. And the reason for that is because there's the closing, the small here. So this is the opening and here is the closing. So you want to make sure that it's within exactly how I showed you where you're going to click on there and you're going to paste because if you do it anywhere outside of here, it's not going to show anything. You might even get an error. Okay. So make sure that it's right there where I clicked. And if you ever change your mind and you don't, you know what? I don't want my privacy policy or terms and conditions. I don't want any of that there. I don't want all rights reserved. You could just simply come in here and just delete it. I hope that I earned your thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything else I can help you with. Go check out this video here where I show you how to increase the font size to that copyright section there, as well as the header and the announcement bar too. Until next time, my friends. Adios.